Hi everybody, Larry here. Welcome to another episode of Larry's Fountain Pens. And you may see me in the same clothes. It's because I'm doing a, another review because sometimes I may not be filling up the part and able to do a review. And this way I have some planned ahead of time. And that way the show can go on. Okay? So, I am going to do some writing demonstrations with some different pens and nib sizes and I'm just going to dip them in the ink. I don't want to have to ink all these pens up. It's going to be enough just to wash them out. So Calle Real is the uh, blue ink that I am going to be using today. Let me open this jewel up. Have me some tissue paper ready and this is a cross pen medium nib and I'm using the Rhodia paper. Uh, what do you see? Oh. All right. This nib is what I call, uh, has a lot of feedback. A whole lot of feedback. So, uh, it could use a tune job to make it smoother. It's got a good ink flow. That is, I give it that. So we'll try this other cross. This this one here is a lower end price than this one. I think this one was like twenty bucks, something like this, and this one was, was like in the forties. So we're gonna try this one also a medium. And this one has really good ink flow. And uh, I didn't have that negative icky feedback that I did to the one before this one. Um, here's an interesting one. This is uh, called online pen medium nib, small nib. I believe it's German made. Steel nibs. As you see, it has really good ink flow, nice and wet. And this pen broke very nice as well. I like that. Now we're going to go into a fine nib, the Pilot Metropolitan fine nib. Get some more ink on there. And this is a fine nib. Now, this one I would say does have some feedback, but in a good way. It's not really bad. It's not scratchy. Uh, it's nothing like the vanishing point fine nib uh, like this one. 
this writes well, but it's a lot of feedback. It just, ugh, I can't stand that. And this one, it writes well. And it's fine. Is it the best steel nib? No, it's not. But it's a decent pen. And it's a great pen to start out on as well for your newbie people. Uh, here is a fine nib, and this is a Goulet fine nib, steel nib. Now this is very nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yep. This fine nib writes extremely well. No problems whatsoever. So, this is a winner. Um, uh, I'm going to take you on a medium, sorry they're not nor, but anyway, a medium steel nib, as I showed you the ones above, and this is the Anderson nib, Anderson medium nib. Another fine nib, really nice nib. I really enjoy that nib. It just uh, lifts up that pin. I, I like it. Uh, you can't go wrong with either, either nib, uh, in my opinion. Um, here's one we're going to try. Uh, I just got this in the mail the other day off eBay. It's a Schaefer, and I believe they call it a, a student pin. Uh, and... It could use some cleaning. I haven't uh, did anything to the pin yet. So let me see what size nib it is. Fine nib. And let's see how this writes. Just, I got it in about, what, a week ago. I'm just been curious. We just come on down here. Really not bad. Okay. It does have some feedback with it. Not bad. But bad enough to annoy me that I would try to work on it to smooth it out. Now here, let me change the paper out real quick if you bear with me. Here is a Schneider Extra Fine nib. And we're talking extra fine.
it's dry and uh, when your pen goes dry like that as well that's going to make that nib even more difficult to uh, put that nib to paper. So, have I gone through these? Yep. I just thought I'd show you some different steel nib sizes uh, and try to give you an idea that all steel nibs, in my opinion, are not equal. Some steel nibs are better than other. Why is that? Maybe the greatest steel that's used. Maybe the way it was made. Uh, maybe quality control did a good job on checking that nib before it left wherever. And those times are nice and balanced. It's tuned up well. That feed and that nib is in harmony together and they're working together for that ink flow and the better the ink flow is the better writing experience you'll have. There could be a number of reasons the whys and the can'ts and the maybes and the I don't knows. So I thought that you know what I think this would be an interesting video to do. Maybe that helps some people, maybe not. I hope it helped at least one. If it did that, then I did some good. Well, I appreciate everybody for letting me into your homes today. And remember, it's you guys that I appreciate taking the time to watch me and support my journey. So, leave your comments below. What's your feelings about a steel nib? You like them? You don't like them? Are you in between? Do you have much experience tuning up your nibs to the way you want it? Does that feedback bother you? Or can you just overlook it and say, that's all right, nice pen. So leave your comments below. I appreciate it, everybody. Peace, love you guys. And remember, don't text and drive. Talk to you later. If I pronounce the uh, nib that was saying times, I meant times. Okay? Uh, I tend to do that periodically. I guess that's just me. And uh, will I ever change? Well, probably not. Bummer, right? Uh, so, I thought I'd throw that in there because I'm sure I'll, I'm going to get some feedback saying it's not this, it's that. Or it's not that, it's this. So anyway, alright. Thanks, folks.